Hello, I'm gonna show how I trim nails. I don't use a Dremel, um, simply because I've never owned a Dremel, but I use these nail clippers. They're like 10 to $12, uh, pretty easy to find. They're Miller's Forge. They're sharp, they're little, I have small hands, so for me they're pretty easy to function, and they don't do the ka-chunk that you get from some nail clippers, um, but they are sharp, so you have to know what you're doing. Um, I'm just gonna show on a few nails of Tag. He's getting ready for a bath. So um, what I do, I haven't trimmed his feet for a while, but what I do is I take the foot, and I usually sit on my grooming table, and I just do the edge of the nail, and I can simply round it as I'm going through each nail. So I take off enough, I can, I can read where the quick is. Um, something else about cutting nails is you notice how he's just sitting here nicely. I know he took his head out of the noose, but um, I do this every two weeks. Um, anything less than that, I think your dog doesn't get the, enough repetition that it becomes kind of a scary thing. The other thing that I think is really important about doing nails is having a table. It gives you leverage to be able to um, be up here with the dog. I can hold any dog's foot right here, be able to trim the nails, whether it's going to cooperate or not. And I think it's um, something that you, if you do repetitively enough, you don't have any anxieties. You notice I just came up here and easily grabbed his foot and started trimming his nails. Um, I always win when we do this. Um, I don't let them win any type of fight or argument. So he knows, obviously he's done this a million times, that mom's just gonna do it quickly. You can see I'm just shaving the top of the nail. So I don't need a Dremel because I can make these pretty round because these are pretty sharp uh, nail clippers. I'm just kind of taking off the top and you know, taking little slivers off to make them round. Um, so, you know, if he pulls back, I, I have hold of his foot, um, and we can do it, and he can do it for a while, and he's pretty used to knowing that I'm going to do this. Hopefully you guys can see enough of how I trim the nail. Um, it is good to have an idea of where the quick is underneath. You can kind of see on a, on a clear nail where the pink is, where it um, kind of comes up differently underneath the nail. It's good to keep your dog's nails short. You can hear them. They're too long. It's a pet peeve of mine. Happy nail trimming.